Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use catenary cables. This example will show how to convert or use a catenary cable instead of using a linear cable. We can see the results displayed here are those that we have obtained from linear cables. As you can see here, when the wind is coming from the X direction, the cables on the right, which are in compression, have been deactivated. This is not an exact solution. In real life, when the structure moves in that direction, the cable will not have any pretension. However, there will be some tension on the cable due to its self-weight. To get more precise results, we can use a catenary cable. Now, let's go and modify the member attributes. Here we have the catenary cable options. Let's select this option. We will use the same tension we had before. Here we can see the pretension at the top of the cable. We are now ready to run the analysis and can compare the results from previous analysis. The nonlinear cable or catenary cable are more complex and cannot be used or analyzed using linear or P delta analysis. If you try to run it, a warning will appear like this. Catenary cable are accurately calculated only for nonlinear analysis. Normally, we do not want to continue when we get this warning. Instead of this, we will select nonlinear analysis. We will run the analysis again. Now we see the results obtained from the catenary cable. We notice that the results are slightly different than before, but in this case are more accurate. If we are looking at the force inside the cable, we see the two cables on the left side have more tension. The cables on the right side, although almost deactivated, still have some tension. This is due to the wind load and to the cable self-weight. So, there is still some tension on those cables. This is a more precise result than using linear cables. As these cables are more precise, let's try something different. Suppose the cables would be loose. We will reduce the initial tension on the cable. 200 pounds will be at the top, and we can see the initial sag on the cable. If we would run the analysis again with a reduced tension in the cable, the cable will almost be ineffective. We should see an increase in the displacement. So, this is what we really get. With this, we can also see when the cables were almost loose and the effect of the wind on the cables. The wind is coming from the left and the wind was applied to the cable we can see the sag created as per the wind directly on the cables. What we see here is the amplified structure displacements. So, this here would be the real structure deformation. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and information, please visit our website at www.safi.com.